Some people may say that the water utility industry is slow to adapt to new technology. Since the early 90s, many water utilities have struggled with the financial decision of transitioning from some form of manual meter reading to mobile meter reading technology. In 2020, when contemplating the decision of a first generation or a next generation technology, I've seen the majority of mid-sized to large water utilities lean towards cellular or data collector based AMI technology. However, for those of you that are still having a hard time deciding between AMR and AMI, in this video, I'm going to share with you my simple methodology for deciding which way to go. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the Smart Water Show brought to you by Badger Meter. I'm your host, Maurice Blackwell, and this is the show where we discuss your everyday water utility problems and find the most effective technology solutions for you. Stay tuned for our question of the day at the end of this video to enter our weekly giveaway. AMR versus AMI. I've discussed this topic hundreds of times of water utilities over the years. When a water utility moves from manual meter reading to mobile or fixed network meter reading, there are some base levels of efficiency that are readily apparent to the casual observer. Things such as an increase, of course, in your meter reading efficiency, improvement in the accuracy of your billing, and then status indicators like leaks or tampers or reverse flows. But with mobile meter reading, of course, you're only able to receive this information on a monthly basis and you're not able to be proactive in addressing these areas of concern. When you take a closer look at AMI or fixed network meter reading, because of the 15 minute interval data that's provided to water utilities, there are four primary areas of improvement that aren't available in mobile meter reading. Point number one, the improvement of customer service related business processes. Utilizing the interval data provided by AMI Fixed Network enhances your customer service to a whole new level. Secondarily, self-service consumer portals have also become very popular as of late and can lead to a notable decrease in customer service calls as well as an increase in the overall customer satisfaction. Point number two, reduction of truck rolls. Having the data already at your fingertips eliminates the need for a truck roll for things like meter reading, of course, move-ins or move-out reads. You're going to see a significant reduction in customer service generated field investigation and things like billing disputes are now handled with the data that you have at hand. And lastly, one technology that's had a growing interest by many water utilities are the use of remote valves for non-payment customers. Point number three, water loss efforts and conservation. Whether it's monitoring your district metered areas or improving the tracking of your conservation programs, AMI fixed networks can definitely contribute to you identifying your non-revenue water. Point number four, the power of data analytics. The most powerful aspect offered by fixed networks today versus mobile meter reading is the proactive analytics provided by the colossal amounts of powerful decision-making 15-minute interval data that can bring added efficiency to your overall water system management. Most AMI systems come with analytical-based software packages that offer a number of out-of-the-box water utility specific analytics while also offering you the ability to integrate your data with legacy systems through their documented APIs. These are the benefits that can only be offered through a fixed network. To provide an answer to our initial question, I found that if a water utility can honestly make the statement that the only thing that they're really concerned about is a monthly billing read, then a mobile system is the right choice for them. Dollar for dollar, a mobile meter reading system is the most cost effective way to collect a monthly meter read. Conversely, if a utility finds value in the other benefits we discuss, then an AMI fixed network is the right option. Lastly, some utilities are reluctant to migrate towards AMI based on its level of complexity. 
To eliminate this concern, as a reminder, we covered the topic of network as a service in a prior episode. Having a network as a service agreement means the manufacturer now takes responsibility for maintaining, monitoring, and managing the network for you. What's even better, that a cellular AMI solution offers networks of service as part of its core offering. Deploying a cellular AMI fixed network is just as easy as deploying a mobile system. If you have any questions about choosing between AMR and AMI, feel free to ask a question in the comments section below and I will use my more than 25 years of experience in the water utility industry to personally provide you with an answer. Or if you'd rather send a private message or have any questions related to metering or metering systems that I can help you with, please be sure to connect with me on LinkedIn. Our question of the day. Do you feel that mobile meter reading is still a viable option for water utilities today? A simple yes or no will do. Please provide your reply in the comment section below and be one of the first 10 people to reply to be entered into our weekly Smart Water Show giveaway. If you found value in this content, be sure to click the like button. And if you have a colleague that would benefit from listening to this episode on choosing between AMR and AMI, please be sure to share it with them by clicking the share button. We'd like to thank you for watching this video and we will catch you next time on the Smart Water Show.